the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Today, we've got a fun AFC matchup on tap, as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. Sheds off the tackle. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line. Now it's Mahomes. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. And Mahomes sees something. He'll change the play. Here's Jarek McKinnon, his first carry of the ball game. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big-time, spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes eluding the pressure right. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pan out. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 39-yard line. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. That is incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. Allen going to throw. Little pitch and catch to the tight end. Knox, five yards. Now it's third and five. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll come up facing third and five. Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 32-yard line. Shoves him away and taking it to the 15 yard line before he's brought down. Add the game here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards 
Nice total. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. They run for the first time with James Cook. And he takes it in across the track for Bills touchdown. James Cook, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Bills get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. He had the option to hand that football off. I think it's safe to say that he made the right decision. That was a heck of a run. It certainly was. And when you mentioned the option, most people think the quarterback's not going to keep the ball. Yo, bro, are NFL, you ranked? That's usually not the recipe for being so I think I've seen your name before. So when you do keep it, it often surprises the heck out of a defense. That's recorded by Bass. Up and good. And it's now a 7 0. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And last time they were stopped on fourth down. Had a drive stalled out. We'll see how they respond this go around. I'm eager to see what their mindset is. Because moving the ball, feeling good, and then that abrupt stop on fourth down. Do they go back to the bench and go, oh, boy, they've got something for us? Or do they go to the bench and say, we blew it ourselves. Let's get back out there and move the ball again. And is it different when you get stopped on fourth versus punt? Is that more motivation for the defense, a little more confidence? I think as a defense, you're so excited with a fourth down stop. Making them punt, that's your goal anyway. But a fourth down stop, that's almost a sign of disrespect that they went for it in the first place. And when you get that, you feel great about yourselves. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. I did like his decision-making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing the throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. So the completion good for just three. And just like that, it's third down. Mahomes going to throw. Touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scantlick, 44 yards. And the Chiefs are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Mahomes will throw for it. And this will All right, dickhead. You want to go for two and be ignorant? Bet. So, what do you think the mindset was there? You can tie it with a PAT here, first half. Why go for the lead right now? The old school mindset says if you have a better team, you just go ahead and continue to try and dominate. There's also a school of thought if you don't think you're quite as good, you have to try and take advantage of opportunities. And finally, I just think this is analytics coming into the game. Someone saying the more you go for two, the better your chances are of actually getting them. Partner, when I was in college, we used to have these things called game maxims that we did before every game. One of them said, press the kicking game, for here's where the breaks are made, is the area of hidden yardage. How about that return? Flipping the field, taking it past the 50, and getting things set up to start the series. And it'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. After one, a one-point game, seven to six. Now second and three. Allen now looks to throw. Now he's forced out right. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. 
Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Well, that's a nice job right there. He's looking downfield, but with no one open, he takes off and tries to run for it. He gets to the sidelines and gets out of bounds with a first down. Throwing on first down is Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. Well, that tight end position he just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another first down. And look, they had great field position to start. But boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. He will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. On second down, here's Allen. And Diggs has it. Touchdown! Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills are able to widen their advantage. When you're a great route runner, it makes you that much better as a receiver because now your quarterback trusts that you're going to be where he expects and he's able to deliver the ball on time. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is up to eight. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. On first down now, one with McKinnon. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. From the 34-yard line, here's second down and three. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. Now Patrick going to change the play. to throw it's Mahomes sliding out of the pocket and they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25 yard line two minutes remaining in this first half of football now on first down. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. And Mahomes going to hustle him up to the line here. Throwing on second and long. Mahomes to the right side. It's Kelsey. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 31 yards. And the Chiefs have come back to make it a two-point game. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. Now they'll audible to something else. Try and throw for it. 
You fucking suck. ready to go for their next drive and now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield and remember they get the kickoff to start the second half so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back to back what a momentum swing that would be yeah you might be able to get a two for one without ever even giving up the football a gain of 11 to kick off the drive and it's a quick first down Here's Allen to throw it. It's complete to Cook. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now a give running right, it's Cook. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Four yards remain on second down. Ball on the 10. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Cook. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Allen going to try and keep it. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Oh, the man is Diggs. He's got him. Touchdown, Bills! Target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills would extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes this a nine-point game. time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but he did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. 
Final shot before the half from Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything in the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. A give to Cook out of the gun. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That felt like a trap, because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Now this throw caught left side, and he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Give him 32 on the play. Here's Allen. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Back to the ground, Cook, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss, and now it's third down. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game, and if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Escaping the pressure right. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. And they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break. They come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. The risk-reward of the onside kick, when you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything, because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling in whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep. 
those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. They yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Mahomes to throw on second down. Flush to his right. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And this is back to a five-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. The Bills take over first and ten. They're on the 19-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Flushed out right. He's got a man complete. Now he's into the clear again. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs. 81 yards. And the Bills will add their lead here in the final minute of the third. Well, that is certainly a deflator right there defensively. Their guys just came off of a touchdown drive. They're back in the game, and then bam, they give up a touchdown one play later. How and, about that? And the momentum, which seemingly had shifted the other direction, thought we might be seeing a comeback. <laughs> that momentum right back the other way. Well, that is certainly not complimentary football that we saw right there. The defense is supposed to help their offense. Not give up another touchdown. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone. So we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got them pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time is run out on this third quarter of play. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for the Holmes and the Chiefs. They'll look to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Mahomes in the offense staying out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Now Mahomes got to have this one. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. Now where are you going? Where are you going? Come, come back in the game. Yeah, nigga.
back of my ways. Yeah. Missing my girl, I ain't seen her in days. Uh, what can I say? Uh, I'm out in the baby, trying to get paid. Yeah. Look what I made. Thousands of people are knowing this J. I, know. I never change. Can't put myself 